So today we're looking at how to use the join formula in Google Sheets. So here we have some data we pulled in using the coefficient add-on. If you don't have the add-on, go to add-ons, get add-ons, and search for the coefficient add-on in the add-on store. It allows you to bring in data into your Google Sheets. So for the join formula, this is used to join text or numbers from different cells into a single cell. And so as a quick example, we can use join here. Go ahead and open this. And if we look at what the options are, first is delimiter or what's going to separate the values. And then you can have as many values or arrays as you need to. So we could do something manually and say first, last, for example and just use those text strings. This could be numbers and so forth. We can change what the delimiter is. We can use a comma, we can use a space, or we could use a comma in the space to give that space between. So one way you could use this is we could use it to combine first and last names, just using a space, comma, and then just selecting those cells and you can see now it's combined those names. Another thing we could do is perhaps we want to combine companies and products from here. And so we can use this. Maybe we'll use a vertical bar. Or select these that way. We could do a colon or a dash or whatever we like to combine these values. That's a real quick basic idea. Let's go to this other tab. We're gonna run through some different examples. So one example here is you might use common space, and then we might aggregate last first, just like this. Or as an example, kind of like what we showed you in the last one, we can use this dash, and maybe we'll combine a couple of these different values such as the ID, status, and subject. That was another example. We're just, so far we looked at just combining data from a row, but we can also combine data from a column. So for example, we could combine all the IDs just like this in the cell. If we can remove the space, we just want them in a simple comma separated. Another thing we could do is we can combine a couple different things. Maybe we want to see different statuses in a single cell. And so we could use join, maybe this vertical bar, and then we could select our statuses, just like that. However, that's showing all the statuses. So what we could do here instead, is just wrap this with a simple unique. Now we can see we have closed, pending, and open. And so we change this to failed. You can see that now that shows up in that list. So that's a quick way to be able to see the different statuses in a friendly way in a single cell. We can do this the same thing with the priority and see that there as well. Hopefully you can see now how you can use the join formula in a very flexible way, different things with your data set to display in the way you want to. Don't forget to use the coefficient add-on to bring in your data into Google Sheets and tune back again soon for more tutorials.